Police use them to fight crime. Talking about license plate readers, car mounted cameras that scan license plates. But they aren't the only ones using the technology. Repo companies are using the technology as well, taking millions of photos of cars and then noting the locations of those vehicles. The question is what happens to all that information? Who is able to see it and how is it used? Andrew Hasman has more on what's being called a major threat to your privacy. They can be hard to spot, stuck on the side of tow trucks, but sometimes the camera can't be missed. A viewer sent us these photos of a reader on an unmarked car. I knew exactly what it was when I saw it. Jason DeMonto spotted the readers on cars driving on the freeway and in parking lots. Kind of felt like a kind of like a violation of you know civil liberties violation. Police departments use license plate readers to find stolen cars and criminals, but repo companies are using them to track down cars targeted for repossession. Each have two lenses in them. This YouTube video from camera manufacturer MV Track explains how the devices work, snapping photos of license plates while driving and instantly cross-referencing the plate numbers with financial institutions. When there's a hit. The car becomes a repo target. It can capture vehicles up to 160 miles an hour, and it captures them at 3,600 images per minute. Since he was so close to a reader, Jason DeMonto's car was likely photographed. They have no business knowing where I'm at, what I'm doing, where I'm going. It's what they're doing with their information, what database it's going into. So what happens to the thousands of pictures taken by these license plate readers? Pictures that note the time and place a car was spotted. Attorney Rutch Richelsoff gave us an idea. I know private investigators who are using this information to get information to help lawyers like me um, in my cases. They're able to locate people, um, find people they need to serve subpoenas on, find people who, who you know, have judgments against them that we need to collect against. Richelsoff says there are no laws preventing repo companies from taking pictures of your car while you're out in public and storing those photos in huge databases. There is no constitutional protection against a private company um, gathering this information. The Constitution only protects you against the government. This isn't like this is coming. This is already here. As we found out, it happened to us. This is one of our Fox 10 SUVs, and we worked with a private investigator to see how many times this car was photographed by a repo company. It was first spotted four years ago in this parking lot near 91st Avenue and Peoria. The database search also revealed a handful of other sightings all over the valley. The car was photographed seven times in West Phoenix at 43rd Avenue in Indian School, a few times in Central Phoenix, and in Arcadia near 36th Street in Thomas. Our SUV was also spotted in this quiet Gilbert neighborhood. In all, according to our database search, this car was photographed nine separate times. The pictures don't reveal much more than the time and location where the car was spotted, but sometimes that's all that's needed. What we're looking for on these kinds of things is, is whether they're, this vehicle is showing up at a particular place uh, multiple times. Rich Robertson is a private investigator with R3 Investigations in Mesa. This is just kind of one of the tools in the toolbox that investigators use to go out and find witnesses. Uh, to find property. He says the database he uses is only accessible by licensed professionals and provides no personal information. It's not like it's out there that anybody can go in and access. You can't get access to this stuff to go stalk someone. It tells you nothing about the person. You have no idea who drove it, how they got there, how long it's been sitting there. There's no real value to this information in any other context, really. But that gives Jason DeManto little comfort. The whereabouts of who, maybe who I am, where I'm at, where I'm located, that seems more of a violation than anything. And because the photos are taken in public places, there are few, if any, restrictions on what a private company can do with the pictures and information. The only way to stop this from happening is um, for the legislatures to pass laws. Until that happens, if it ever does, the camera technology that has revolutionized the repo business will continue to snap thousands of photos every minute. I'm Andrew Hasbun, Fox 10 News. And one company, Vigilant Solutions, is taking photos with license plate readers nationwide. The Atlantic.com reports that it has taken roughly 2 billion license plate photos so far. That amounts to about 80 million per month.